The first of four berths in the conference championships on the line here as divisional weekend in the NFL is underway. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. The KC offense set to go led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. All in all, he was pretty solid in the victory in the wild card round and threw a couple of touchdowns. And when it comes to quarterback play, you'd always love spectacular. But in the playoffs, you'll take solid. And that's exactly what they're looking for from him again in this contest. Throwing at the outset, here's Mahomes. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Well, there's a pretty big start right there. They go bombs away on the first play from scrimmage. Put a smile on your face, didn't it? Not because you're rooting for anyone, but that's the way to begin a game, to put someone back on their heels and announce that they plan to be aggressive. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. On second down, here's Mahomes. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Matthew Ioannidis busting through to get him for a loss of six. Now that's a heck of a moment for your first sack of the game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, we're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays of this contest. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. They go with a shuffle pass, and it's complete. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hand. Oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days. It's the versatile Jalen Hurts. And you have to figure that this is a confident quarterback who gets the start here. Coming off of a victory in round one, team doesn't have to travel. They get another home game here in the divisional round. And I know it sounds cliche, but playing at home, huge for a quarterback, huge for his team. They want to take advantage of it. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. On the ground, it's Pierce to begin the drive. And a six-yard gain gets them right around the 43. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. But first down, Hurts out to his left. He's got his man. It's the tight end, Brevin Jordan. And he's got this down to the 35. Give him 17 on the pickup there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 35-yard line. They'll try to run the ball here with Sutton. Well, Jerry is Sneed up to make the play defensively. Well, it certainly appears that in this game, someone has decided they're going to open up their playbook. First quarter, and we see that play. I like their style. They'll buy some time right. And they'll have it in the red zone. 
zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. I don't think that run was anything that was designed, but when his reads were blanketed as he went through his progressions, all that was left was for him to run and try and pick it up himself. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Cooks on the quick slant. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And perhaps now close to the first points of this divisional round game as it's first and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And I think the Chiefs have it. They do. We figured they'd come out with intensity and aggressiveness on the defensive side of the ball, and they have an early turnover to show for it. They lived up to their reputation. That's who they are. They want to attack on every play, even though they're playing defense. And you're exactly right. Forced their early turnover, and now they'll try to attack again and again throughout the game. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And for them, maybe a little carryover from last week's game. They got the win on the road in the wild card round, on the road here again in the divisional round, but they're hanging tough. Hey, cue a little music, right? A little on the road again. I mean, this has been kind of the mantra they're under right now, and they can't change it. The season dictated what would happen with them, right? They had to go on the road for the first round for the playoffs. They're on the road again, and sometimes teams get really comfortable with that. Not only the... Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. Well, we, we thought these two defenses, they might come to play. One has already come to play here, a safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's pile this play away, because if it turns out to be a tight game, who knows? This could wind up being the difference. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. After return to midfield, I just wish we could open up the heads of the offensive and defensive coordinators because right now the wheels have to be spinning because things just changed. Offensive playbook just opens up, and now on defense, do you play aggressively or do you lay back a little bit to try and calm things down? Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Here's Hurts to throw. Hard throw, incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. Open man is Jordan, the tight end. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. Pierce now up the middle. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? First down, they go right back to Pierce. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Hurts throw taken in there by Cooks. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it'll result in a fresh set of downs. 
Uh, that's a good effort there after the catch. He looked the ball in and then tried to get it to the goal line. What a nice tackle to get him down. But they're set up well now. First and goal at the one. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Texans are in for six. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes this a nine-point game. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you've got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. zero and that's going to be a delay after the delay they're backed up even further for third and long Mahomes now to throw and this one caught by Travis Kelsey call it a gain of six on the play and that's going to bring up a fourth down Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Taken from just outside the 30. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And the Texans with great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. The game clock sitting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two-minute warning. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And that's going to be caught by Sutton. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll go jet sweep here with Sutton. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. 
They'll toss this to Pierce on the right side. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss. Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guys at the cornerback position. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. It's the fullback with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Texans are in for six. Well, nothing complicated about that. That's old school power football. And effective. And that's the key to everything, right? Sometimes we try and do too many things. Just hand it to the big guy and let him go forward. Now for the point after. And that will make this a 16-point lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive's going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. Meanwhile, the home throw there hauled in by Claypool. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. And will bring up second down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They go play action. Now Mahomes. The throw for Claypool is intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And the Texans are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. But when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. I think this defense, Charles, realizing the deficit they're facing, they're going to have to step up and make more plays like we just saw there. Yeah, and those are the type of plays that can focus the defense because, as we know, they've had their trouble so far in this one. But they just proved to themselves that they can get to it. I expect them to continue to bring that type of pressure in order to try and turn around their fortunes. And this drive was almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Throwing his hurts. And they try to set up the screen, but that almost disaster as it falls incomplete. Very nearly a turnover, but it's fourth down. Set to punt, here's Cameron Johnston. And now a high kick here as he'll try to hang it up there. And this will be down by a member of the kicking team just outside of the 30-yard line. 
So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our well, look around the NFL. We'll have to wait for postgame because we are moving right through halftime and on to the third quarter. Winner go home. That's the name of the game. And we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional Round. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. And the Texans getting ready to go here to begin the third quarter. A run by Pierce begins the second half. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. 45 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. Mahomes on the give to Edward Delaire. And he'll get about three up past the 25. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Mahomes going to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He'll look to set up his blockers. up near the 35, maybe the 34. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. Now he's going to let it go deep right sideline. And that's caught inside the 35. An excellent gain, 35 yards. We see this happen so often. If you're a defender, it's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure's good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers. Long. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. 
Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. And now here comes Kansas City. And I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and try and think with them here. Try and play field position, maybe. Turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense. Who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> and just a yard to go here on second down. hit he lost the football and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back maybe some indecision there on what looked to be an rpo he wound up keeping it but that defense right on him to strip it away and typically when we see that type of indecision on an rpo that means it's well defended he had nowhere to go with it and that allowed the defense to get to him and knock it free and make it a turnover They'll start on the ground with Pierce. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Yeah, that was the safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. On second and 12, Hurts. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. This defense trying to do its part. Active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. They'll roll him out right. He's going deep for Brown. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Juan Thornhill. And the Chiefs are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Well, CD, that helps the home team as they try to erase this deficit, give them the penalty for pass interference on the defense. Yeah, and they certainly haven't been happy with what they've seen so far, have they? They're certainly hoping that that call now might get the fans back into this one. Hand off right side to Pierce. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? Now here's a throw that's complete. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Hurt sets up to throw it. And the throw there going to be incomplete. He came through well with a nice pass break up there. Fortunate that he was on the spot. He's the only guy left to prevent the first down. Now the Texans are going to call on the field goal unit. This to make it a three-score game late. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. Well, you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a threat, if that, as they begin here with a first and ten on the wrong side of the scoreboard. Now Mahomes. 
Open man is Myers. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's got the connection to Moore. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out and to that end a nice pass play there to push things downfield yeah and we know oh into a sea of defenders and intercepted isaiah simmons picking it off 30 past the 20 and they will score a pick six for the texans td that right there is kind of a summary for how this day has gone for the offense. No points still, and that time points in the other direction. Not much more to say to that, is there? Struggle all the way through. Have to find a way to try and get some points. They're a little bit desperate. Instead, the points go the other way. Extra point forthcoming. And that will bump the lead up to 26. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Ross. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it'll be second in a couple. I respect both sides on that play, CD. For him to be able to hold on to that football and the impressive tackle, wow. Did you notice the look between the two of them as they came off the ground? That look did say the word respect. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. To throw, it's Mahomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Finding space at the 40. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Well, that's something you haven't had to talk about much this game. A nice big play right there. But this team, overall, they haven't done a whole lot offensively. Well, they're still sitting on the goose egg. We talk about defenses having pride in a shutout. This offense wants to get rid of that zero. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Mahomes to throw once more. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. 
Looking to throw is Mahomes. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, Come on, guys. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same. And this is going to be intercepted. Derek Stingley picks it. And the Texans will take over possession here up at the 44. How about one last great play defensively, and that should, for all intents and purposes, finish off this shutout. That's as good a defensive performance as we've seen in a long, long time. And I know as a team they will celebrate, but I will guarantee you the defensive guys, they'll get together somewhere and have their own private celebration. A shutout, that's something to be cherished. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. So that flag obviously takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. On second down, they'll run it here. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football off a triple option,